Yes, I was hoping you were going to stop in. I'm John Zadar. I am the host of On Top and Hot, and this is the weekend of July 9th. Now, in the words of Joan Rivers, can we talk? <laughs> I've got a situation I need to share with you folks. You know, I've been making videos for you for about two years now. And right now, I've roughly got about 2,200 subscribers. Thank you. You guys are as precious as gold to me. I put in a lot of effort work to get you, so I do appreciate you. But right now, I'm only getting about 200 views per video. Well, to be honest, with that many subscribers, though it's not a lot, I would think my views would be up. Now, why do I bring this up? Because I don't have a job, folks. All I do is make YouTube videos and day trade. And to be honest, the YouTube videos take up all my time. Literally, I have no time. I get about 90 minutes a day to myself. And that's between like 9.30 and 11 o'clock at night. So I really need you to support me, folks, or I'm going to have to find something else to do. I can't pay my bills at this rate. I know it's not your problem, but if you like what I'm doing and you want to keep me here, I need your support. So what it is I do on this show? I look at hot OTC and penny stocks. I'm looking for stocks under five bucks on any market that have potential to make us money. Now, normally I look for these hot OTC and penny stocks by looking at the charts first. I'm looking for heat in the chart, whether that be a breakout setup or a lot of volume coming in, whatever it is. Then I go looking for a catalyst. Well, that's not what I did this time. Why? Because everybody knows Mullen, and Mullen's catching a lot of attention right now. Mullen Automotive, she is an EV manufacturer. She makes electric cars. She came into business in 2011. She came on the market in 2021. She did it through an RTO, a reverse takeover, a reverse merger. She found a company on the NASDAQ, Net Elements, cut a deal with them, and now it's their ticker. The company has had a lot going on since they've come on the market, bad and good. And right now, she is catching a ton of attention. Do you know that on Thursday, she was the number one selling stock on the entire market in the USA? She's becoming a meme stock, which means people are going to be watching this constantly. So this is going to need to stay on your watch list. So let's jump on into this. I got a lot to share with you and I'm going to do it chronologically. Just going to start from the earliest news and work forward. So Mullen, she finished the day on Friday just over 19 cents at 19.19 and she fell almost 13%. She is a penny stock on the NASDAQ. We can trade her for free. We can trade her pre-market, after-market. I love these penny stocks on the major exchange. Ah, that little description on the OTC just doesn't do this company justice. So I've got a real juicy one here from their most recent press release. Mullen Automotive is a Southern California-based automotive company building the next generation of electric vehicles that will be manufactured in their two United States-based assembly plants. Now, Mullins has more than just Mullen cars because they've made deals here with other companies in the last year. In September of 2022, Bollinger Motors became a majority-owned EV truck company for Mullen. Then in December of 2022, Mullen closed the acquisition of Elms. This is Electric Last Mile Solutions. They got all of their assets, all of their intellectual property, plus a 650,000 square foot plant in Mishawaka, Indiana. And from what I've been able to gather, this is where the Hummer vehicle was being built. You know that Hummer, the huge, big, square truck. Well, Bollinger's B1 vehicle looks a lot like the Hummer. Let's look at their cars since that's what we're talking about. The Mullen 5, this is their flagship project. The Mullen 5 is a crossbreed between an SUV and a sedan. You've got huge tires on it, lots of ground clearance, and a lot of interior room with features you're just not going to believe when I tell you about them. They've also got the Mullen Igo. This is a commercial urban delivery EV. You didn't know they had that, did you? Little itty bitty car that they sell over in Europe for last mile delivery solutions. They also sell these small trucks, class one and class three. These are flatbeds, refrigerated, small box trucks for inner city deliveries. Then Bollinger Motors. They've got two trucks now that are being sold, the B1 and the B2. 
Doesn't that look a lot like the Hummer? And then you've got the Hummer pickup, right? And they also sell class trucks. They sell the class four and class six. These are bigger flatbed refrigerated box trucks for last mile deliveries. So the company's got lots of different vehicles. They've got lots of things they're doing and the trucks are being sold right now. They do have standing orders for their cars. They have standing orders for their trucks, standing orders for their vans. They've got lots of vehicles that are being delivered now. They've had these orders for a while and they just started delivering them now. So what we're gonna do is look at all of their news chronologically. I'm just gonna start with the oldest and move forward. With that said, let's jump on into it. Because this is a penny stock on the major exchange, the NASDAQ, you've got to keep in mind that you may not be getting all the information over there at the otcmarkets.com website. It's not really set up for the major exchange stocks, but they do carry some information, which means they may be missing some. So I've done most of my research through Google, and I'm glad I did. I found information I was completely oblivious to, and I'll bet you were too. Our first piece of news comes from September of last year. Were you aware that Mullen signed a partnership agreement with WaterGen to launch Water From Air Solutions for their EVs? What I'm talking about is running tap water, both hot and cold, in the car. Water you can drink. I had no clue. I don't think any car company has got this technology. They tell us down here that the company signed the partnership with WaterGen Inc. to develop and equip Mullins portfolio of electric vehicles with technology that will produce fresh drinking water from the air for in-vehicle consumption and commercial applications. WaterGen, they are a pioneering Israel-based company and a global leader in the atmospheric drinking water device market. Never heard of them. WaterGen's technology of air to clean drinking water for vehicles can generate a fresh supply of hot and cold drinking water for vehicle occupants. This technology is envisioned for Mullen's fleet of EV cargo vans and can be utilized in both commercial and recreational vehicle settings. The air to water systems will provide up to five liters of drinking water daily directly from the air while the vehicle is moving and can be used as a fresh water source for the vehicle occupants. Mullen will be the first automotive company to co-develop this technology with WaterGen for our entire portfolio of electric vehicles. The opportunities for air to water vehicle applications are endless. I'm dumbfounded, gobsmacked. I think that is most impressive, water in the car. Why didn't somebody think of that before? Next piece of news. This is February 8th of this year. Mullen Automotive partners with Loop Global, they're a charging company, and Menzies Aviation. They tell us down here that the company is collaborating with Menzies Aviation and Loop Global on a pilot program at the Los Angeles International Airport. The program involves Mullen's Class 1 EV cargo vans. The world's largest aviation service company, Menzies, operates in 250 airports, plus they are in 58 countries, providing ground, air cargo, and fuel services to commercial airports and airlines. This is a 60-day pilot program that will evaluate the Mullins Class 1 EV vans in several use cases across Menzies LAX operations. And if they can work here, wow, they could have a huge contract amongst all of the different airports and countries that they're working in. Next piece of news comes out March 20th. Mullen Automotive and Quantu Motors to launch EV supercar branded Mullen GT and GTRS with program start commencing March 20th, 2023. This is the car right there, folks. Now, this Quantu, they have been in business with them since the very beginning, all the way back since 2011. This is a Chinese company. Mullen and Quantu got together and said, we can make electric cars together and sell them to America and the rest of the world. And here we are, 10, 12 years later, they're still working together. And now they're gonna make this super fast car. This thing goes up to 200 miles per hour and can reach 60 miles per hour in less than two seconds. Does anybody really need to go that fast? 
Mullen has been granted a license for the intellectual property and exclusive distribution rights in North and South American markets for the Quantu K50 Dragonfly. Now, I don't believe this is the first time we've heard about the Dragonfly, but they say they are getting ready to launch it now, now that they've got a factory because they're going to be building this in Mishawaka, Indiana, just a couple hours away from me. Next piece of news comes out April 18th. Mullen Automotive Inc. forms Mullen Advanced Energy Operations. Now, this is a completely new subsidiary where they are trying to make better batteries. They tell us down here that Mullins Automotive is joining with Global EV Technology as well as EV Technologies to create better batteries. They tell us down here that the companies will be contributing and working together on known verified technologies for improving existing vehicle performance and extending battery range. The founder of Global EV Technology Inc. and Chief Scientific Officer Lawrence Harge is a successful lifelong inventor with a storied career of over 30 years. Lawrence's accomplishments include, he holds over 120 intellectual prototypes. These are inventions built, actually made, as well as numerous patents and trademarks. He's the inventor of the Knockout 360 Fire Extinguisher, one of the only extinguishers in the U.S. market that is UL approved for the use in electric vehicle fires. And there's a lot more information here, but I want to focus in on this hedger. Now, there's a lot to be said about this guy, bad and good. There's a lot of information. This article here at fastcompany.com, they've got a lot of good and bad about him. However, I just want to focus in on what we're concerned with with this deal that they've made. In April, Mullen and Harge announced a joint venture to install his supposedly self-regenerating battery technology in its electric vehicles, then scale it down to golf carts, drones, wheelchairs, e-bikes, anything electric, a veritable game changer worth billions of dollars. It is widely understood that the first American company to produce a scalable solid state battery, one that's cheaper, faster charging, and less reliant on Chinese materials, will control the holy grail of power sources. Mullen's hype around a major energy advancement builds on bold, specific claims that Harge has made, among them that his technology gives EVs at least 500 miles to the charge, which is a lot. They are now testing this on Mullins cargo vans in Troy, Michigan, and are proving that they work. They are getting 44% more mileage on each battery charge. So he has got this hot technology, which is basically supposedly could create a <laughs> vehicle that never needs to be charged. As long as it's going, it's charging. When it's stopped, well, you're not using any power, so you don't have to charge any power. This could be a game changer. Everybody wants it. We've heard of other people doing it. They say it's not possible. Well, this could be. We're going to have to wait and see. That next piece of news comes out July 7th. Mullen Automotive retains law firm to investigate and combat naked short selling. They tell us down here that the company has announced they have retained Christian Attar, formerly known as Christian Levine Law Group, to combat naked short selling activities. Now, shorting is legal, folks. People are allowed to borrow shares of the stock. Normally, they come from us. If we're not selling them, if they're not in the queue to be transacted, they can be borrowed. They'll borrow our shares and they'll sell them and get a bunch of money. And they'll hold some of those shares. And when they see the price has a gap to fall, they'll sell shares at a lower price and push it down. When they see the price is down again on a bid, they'll throw more shares in there and, and sell them at that price and keep pushing the price down. That's all legal, as sick as it sounds. What's illegal is naked shorting. Naked shorting sounds stupid. Of course, there's a law against it. Naked shorting means you're borrowing imaginary shares invisible shares, shares that don't exist. And you're selling these non-existent shares and getting money for them. 
That's wrong. You can bring down the price selling non-existent shares, imaginary shares, and you're making a profit on it. That's illegal all the way around. It's been illegal for years. We well, got lots of companies hiring attorneys now to prove this is happening. Well, they tell us down here that uh, Christian Attar, in partnership with Warshaw Burstein, have successfully prosecuted and collected millions of dollars in aggregate damages on behalf of their clients from broker dealers, market makers, hedge funds, and asset-based leaders who have engaged in such market manipulation schemes. So if there's any naked shorting going on, this would help them because it hurts us, it hurts the company. I hate shorting folks, I think it shouldn't be done, but I understand, I can't go into it all now, but I understand why they do it. I just think there should be rules. Maybe you can't short startup companies that have a market cap of under 100 million or something. You know, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger beating up toddlers. Come on, I will take you on right now. Who's impressed by that? And everybody gets hurt and it doesn't benefit anybody except that one person. Now this news came out June 29th and it's monumental. The numbers aren't big, but they put revenues on the books for the first time. Mullen announces the sale of 22 EV cargo vans to Randy Marion Automotive Group. The sales revenues are to be recognized in the upcoming 10Q. Mullen Automotive announced today it has sold 22 EV cargo vans to Randy Marion Automotive Group for $308,000. Let me see, 308 divided by 22, what's that, $14,000 a van. What a nice wholesale price. This is the company's first recorded revenue and is being recognized in the quarter ending June 30th, 2023. All the vehicles are in queue, ready to be shipped, with the first vehicle shipping today, June 29th, 2023, from Mullins, Tunica, Mississippi assembly plant. So that's their other one, Mishawaka, Indiana, and Tunica, Mississippi. Randy Marion is the authorized distributor of Mullins commercial EVs in the U.S. Now this is a big piece of news. I don't know why they shoved it in here. The company is currently in process with six campus EV pilot programs across four different industries, including aviation. We just saw that one with Menzies. Pharmaceutical, public utility, and universities. I just read news that they have delivered vans to North Carolina University, who is thinking of buying more. Further details on these programs are anticipated to be included in future announcements. And then they've got another show, a tour they're planning here in 2023 to start August 2023. They'll be showing off all of the cars they got and the new cars that they're going to have as well. Our next piece of news comes out May 3rd. This is when they did their 1 in 25 reverse split. Now there was a reason for that. Their price was underneath a dollar. Now let's back up a little bit. This company has had a problem for a while. They ran into problems in January. When they came onto the market, they had something like 25 million shares. By the time January of this year hit, they had big financial problems. They needed a lot of money. And to get that money, they needed big investors. Well, big investors need a lot of shares. So they added a ton of shares to the market. Then the price went under a dollar. They were scrambling to get the price up over a dollar by doing a one in 25 reverse split. Here's how those facts lay out. The company warned their investors that a bankruptcy was a possibility back in May after acknowledging that they had just $108 million of cash left. Mullen shares started in 2022 at $130, but haven't crossed the $2 mark since May and presently sits at 19 cents. Folks, did you hear that? $130 was its high price last year. However, in January, Mullen diluted the stock by adding 3.2 billion more shares, putting a total of 5 billion up for grabs, a jump from just the 25 million in 2022, only to then announce a 1 for 25 reverse stock split in May, a maneuver to stay north of NASDAQ's $1 threshold for delisting. Now they are considering they may need another reverse split. Oh my God, are you kidding? I know people were killed by that last one. You owned 100 shares, you've only got four shares left now. Well, they initially thought they would do anywhere from a one to two to a one to 10. Now they're thinking one to nine to one to 100. 
but they've got a problem if they do that. Anything over a one in 10, they aren't gonna get another six months extension. If you do multiple splits within two years and cover more than 250, a one in 250, well, they've already done a one in 25. If they did a one in 10, 10 times 25, that's 250. They may be able to push the price up over a dollar, but if it falls back up underneath the dollar, they don't get any time to fix it. They will get kicked off if it doesn't come up organically. So right now, we are in a very precarious position. We need this price to organically grow from this 19 cents to up over a dollar, or they're gonna have to do another split. Now, I like this company, but this is becoming a little too dangerous. But wait a minute, before you get lost in all that depressive news, I've got a real bright light to shine on it. This came out July 6th. Mullen Automotive announces a $25 million stock buyback program. The company believes the stock is significantly undervalued and is trading at a significant discount to the current cash position that they hold of approximately $235 million. Last we heard, they were at 108, so things are getting better. The buyback is authorized through December 31st, 2023. Now, let's just do some rough calculations here. $25 million. Shares are about 20 cents right now for easy math. That means they can get five for every dollar they spend. Spend $25 million, that means you get 125 million shares taken off of the outstanding share count. Well, we're at 172 right now, so that would leave us with what? 52 million shares. Now we're talking. They tell us here the company has authorized a stock buyback program pursuant to which the company may, up until the end of the year, purchase up to $25 million in shares of outstanding common stock, which may be repurchased from time to time, either on the open market or in privately negotiated transactions, depending on market conditions and other factors. This is what we need. We went from 32 million up to 3.2 billion, back down to maybe down to 52 million. Our biggest concern is that other reverse split. We don't need it. We've got to get this price up. And being that she's doing billions of shares multiple days in a row and doing a half a billion following that, I think there's a strong likelihood that this stock could see some activity that could push it up to a dollar. But before we go look at the chart, let's go look at all that stock information. Normally, we'd be over at the OTC market getting the relative volume for this company, but they only give us one day, and I want to share more than one day with you. So I'm over here at Yahoo Finance, throw in Mullen's ticker, click historical data, and it brings you this page. Now, this is every single day she's been on the market. Pick any day you want. You can see the open the close, the high, the low, and how many shares she moved that day. Well, on Friday, July 7th, Mullen moved just about three quarter billion shares. On the 6th, Thursday, she did just under two billion shares. And on Wednesday, 1.3 billion shares. Now, Tuesday was a rough day. She only did 230 million shares. First off, that's a huge jump from 230 to 1.3 billion. Second of all, look, right here, June 13th, 100 million. This is the first time she hit triple digits. I'm going to scroll back now. Look in this column right here. Do you see any 100 million, 200 millions? I'm all the way back to February, December, October. No, you don't see 100 million, 200 million. You darn sure don't see 1 billion or 2 billion. So right now, the company's got a lot of extra attention and a ton of shares moving. Speaking of shares, she's got 172 million outstanding share count. I do believe this is accurate. I did the math. The math comes out to this number. However, I went to Google. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. I saw all kinds of numbers from 75,000 to 651 million. I'm going to go with 172 million. Looking at the financials, annually, this isn't their money, that belonged to Net Element. Mullen hasn't had any money annually, and they haven't had any money quarterly. But the next quarterly, the one for June, they tell us they just got in by the skin of their teeth, $308,000. They broke the ice. They are not a shell company anymore. They're now making money, and hopefully it just grows from here on out. Disclosures. 
They got a ton of them. They got all kinds of disclosures here and really they all bear up to the news and stuff. Now you've got a couple of form fours here. This is where insiders acquire or dispose of shares. And normally we're more interested if they're buying them or selling them, not just being given shares. Well, that's what these form fours are. They're being given shares for some reason I'm not aware of. But I don't think there's anything else we really need to look at in there. But of course, do your own DD. I may be wrong. <laughs> and looking at that news. So we've got lots of news up here. This is from 2018 back and nothing down here. So, you know, if you come over here to the OTC market looking at major exchange penny stocks, you may not get all the information. There may be huge bald spots because there was a lot of news out there to share with you. All right, you ready to look at that chart? So am I, let's go. I'm ready to do some charting. We're gonna do it on Thinkorswim, also known as TOS. This is a free trading platform. You get it from TD Ameritrade and signing up with them, that's free too. So we are looking at ticker M-U-L-N, Mullen Automotive. This is a one week, three year chart. It's the only way I could get to the start of 2022. Now remember, this company came on the market November of 2021. So this is like 45 days later, January 3rd. Her high was $148. We just hit a low at the beginning of July of 10 cents. Oh my God. <laughs> Jumping down to that six month, four hour view. Our high here is $16.22. A lot of volatility as she was falling, but where's the volume? There's really no volume here until recently. You can see it starting to build up right here, getting stronger and stronger until we have a tsunami of billions of shares being moved. And that pushed her up over top of the 50, dragging her 20 day along with her. Everything is looking nice. She is floating over her 50. Doesn't look like she's in a hurry to get back underneath it. She is just kind of hovering up there. She is up underneath her nine day SMA. Oscillators says she's kind of plants it right now. Our PPO, which is a lot like the MACD, is on top of our red line, but it's flat. MACD has got a little bit of a crossover going on right now, pushing down, and our RSI is pretty cool at 52. Looking at that 20 day, one hour view. What a drop. Wow, here's our high of 53 cents and a very steep decline. Hit this low of 10 cents, bounced off of that, hit a high here of 32 cents. That is 220% gains in two days. That's what got everybody's attention. Not to mention billions of shares being moved. So she was underneath the 50 here, pushed over the 50, beeline to the 200, shot through the 200 and came all the way up there to that 32 cents. She has fallen back. Looks like she is trying to bounce off the 50, but she's actually bouncing off of our 200 haul. 200 haul is a lot like your 200 day SMA takes 200 days of prices, averages them together, but then puts more credence on current prices. And right now it looks like she's respecting that. Our oscillators say we're in turnaround right now. It's just starting, just starting. She came down, she was falling. Looks like she's just beginning to curve up right now. Five day, five minute. Whoa, lots of volatility there. So she was at that 10 cents on what was that Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, she jumped hard. She went from uh, 10 cents up to about uh, 18 cents before the market closed. She kept climbing after market, had a big pre-market on Thursday, even pushed higher when the market opened. And since then she has been falling. She's come through her 200. She's come all the way back down to her 50 floating above that 200 day haul. She seems to really like this. No, the charts look weak right now, but I see so much volume. I see so much attention and so much buzz that I'm not turning my back on this, folks. Now, what I'm doing is I'm grabbing my Fibonacci. I'm gonna poke the bottom of this surge to the top of this surge. And what I am looking for is the 50% mark, dead center, right there. Now, if the price comes up underneath that, which it has, there's a stronger likelihood that it could continue to fall. She is bouncing on this one right up underneath it right now, and I hope she's gonna come back up. So this is where we're looking for to get back to that 21 cent mark. But I'm looking at this 
for a lot more. I think there's going to be a lot of plays, folks. Kind of becoming a meme stock. That means she's always going to have attention. That means when news comes out, you can probably expect a pop. That means that when their financials come out and they report income, even though we already know it's there, we can expect a pop. That's what happens with meme stocks. They get very itchy and they bounce on all sorts of things. So I really like Mullen, folks. I think she's going to be fun, but you're going to have to be careful. There's a lot of volatility in here. Don't be afraid to take your gains after she rockets. Take that parachute, jump out, wait for her to come back down, buy back in. If she grows real slow, hang around for a while. But if she's going to rock it, take that parachute and jump and wait for her to come back down. They normally do. Remember, folks, I did cover a lot of information, but not all of it. So do some more DD. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.